Hi guys, welcome to WebSense Pro, welcome to another tutorial, welcome to another Shopify tutorial. In this video, I'll walk you through how you can add upload field to your Shopify product page and that upload field does not require any Shopify app, does not need to have any additional subscription burden to your Shopify apps. All you have to do is just follow this video, copy few lines of code and have the upload field on your product page showing up like this. So you can simply click on it and upload any file just like I'm doing this right now. And here you go. And once you add your product to the cart, it will show up on cart as well. And it will also show up on your checkout page just like this. And it will also show up on your order confirmation email. Cool, right? So if you want to learn how to implement this, watch the video completely. Let me know in the comment below what more you would like to learn so I can create more tutorial for you guys and add in more value to this channel. Okay, let's proceed with that now. So first of all, let's go to the product page. And here's my product page where I have file upload field showing up. Now, one thing you would notice is that I have this color swatch, which is a multicolored color swatch. So there are two colors. And when I click on that, it shows up that specific multicolor thumbnail image on the product and if you want to learn how to add this multicolor swatch to your Shopify product page let me know in the comments below I'm preparing a new tutorial for you guys and shortly release that tutorial as well okay now let's proceed with our file upload field tutorial so that's the tutorial I'll put the link in the YouTube video description so you can simply copy and paste the code so the first code which we'll be using is for optional field upload so if you want to have your upload field as an optional and don't want it as required so if someone want to skip this field you can copy this code and add it to your team and if you want this field to be required and you don't want to your visitors to miss that field you can use this second code which i have the link of this tutorial you will find in the youtube video description okay so let me show you how it's going to work so first of all i'm going to go to the back end of my shopify store so that's my Shopify development store and that's the dashboard and that's how it's going to look like. And we'll click on online store. And that's our theme where we have already added the code. So what I'm going to do, I'll stall fresh on theme just for you guys in order to show you that it should be working fine on the latest version, which is 12.0.0 as of now. Okay, guys, our fresh dawn 12.0.0 has been installed. Now I'm going to click on publish. And then click on publish again and here we have our fresh ton theme installed now i'm going to click on these three small dots and then preview of the product page which we have I'm going to close the older tab and that's my product open that up and that's how the default product page of ton theme looks like now we will be adding upload field just right here by following and adding the code which i have for you guys okay now on our theme section, click on customize. And from our customize, click on this drop down here and then go to product page. That's our default product template. And now all we have to do is just click on this add block and then add the custom liquid block. And in the custom liquid, you will be just copying the code. Again, if you want to add the optional upload field, you can copy this first code, which I have. And if you want it as a required field, you can add this one. I'm going to copy the required one for now and then add in my liquid code. Okay, just added it. And now if I scroll down, you can see that this file upload field is showing up. Now we'll drag and drop it below our pricing, right? And now just click on this field here and drop it below my price. Okay, a file upload field is showing up. Click on save. Let's go back to the product page and then hit refresh. Okay, our field is showing up now. Now, if I click on add to cart button without uploading the file, you can see it's asking me to please select a file or upload a file. Now, if I upload the file, for example, this one, and then click on add to cart, 
you can see it's adding the product to the cart with the file name included in it. So if I click on that, it will download the file which I have uploaded it from here and it will also be showing up on order confirmation email which I'm gonna tell you guys in a little bit. For now, let's view the cart. And if I click on checkout, you can see that our file upload is also showing up on our checkout page and I didn't install any app and uh, didn't do anything right like, right? Okay, so the next step is to display this file on our order confirmation email and how will we do that? So let's go back to the Shopify backend and then go to settings from here, click on settings and here we will go to notifications and from here, click on this order confirmation and from there, click on edit code. So that's the code which is responsible to display template of order confirmation email, right? And now if we want to enable the file upload field in our order confirmation email template, all we have to do is just scroll down to the line number 251. So that's the line which we'll have to remove this one and this one. And if you're following the tutorial, which I have in the YouTube video description, you can see this a screenshot where I have mentioned the line, the two lines, which we need to remove. Okay. So I'm just going to remove that. And click on save. And now I'll add a test order in order for you guys to show how the email template is going to look like. So guys, I have added a test order here. And as you can see, it's uh, the file upload field is showing up on my checkout page. Now, if I go to the dashboard and go to orders, here's the test order, which I have placed just now. And you can see it's uh, the file which user will upload is also showing up on order status page. Now I'm going to view my email, the order confirmation email, and that's how my file upload will look like. Let me resend the test email and show you guys how it's going to look. And here we go. Our order confirmation email is here. And as you can see, we have this file upload field showing up on my order confirmation as well. So that's it for the video guys. A short tutorial in order to show you guys how you can add file upload field without using any app. If you like the video, don't forget to comment on the video below and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Until next video, have a great day.